Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about creation of Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible server through Azure portal. This is the official page by Microsoft and here under the learn documentation for PostgreSQL, we have the quick start section of the flexible server. You can see here and under the quick starts, we have create server and database. There are few methods given here. Among these methods, we are going to take Azure portal. Here is the quick start to create it through portal. It's written that this database for PostgreSQL is a managed service that we use to run, manage and scale highly available PostgreSQL database in the cloud. And in about five minutes, we could create this database in Azure. So here are the steps which we are going to demo in this video. Let's quickly go to the Azure portal. Here we are in the Azure portal and we'll click on create a resource. Here we'll search for Postgre, enter. From the marketplace, we could see if we type Postgre, multiple options will appear. We will select Azure database for PostgreSQL or we can directly select Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible server. So let's first see what's there in the database for PostgreSQL. This page will appear where it will ask us to create. We'll click on create and here in this page, it will give us the different deployment options present for the Postgre database server. First is Azure database for PostgreSQL where the resource type would be flexible, single or ARC enabled PostgreSQL. Single is going to be decommissioned soon. Hence, it is recommended to create flexible server. And in this video, we are going to create flexible server only. Next is Azure Cosmos DB for PostgreSQL. So for this example, we'll select flexible server only and create this server. Click on create. So this is the first page, the basics tab. In the basics tab, first is the project related details. We'll select the subscription resource group. We'll select next is the server related details. Server name. We'll give the server name CK Cloud Knowledge Postgre SQL Server. Region default Postgre version. We'll let it be the latest version workload type. First is this production which is for small or medium size. According to the selection of the workload type, estimated cost on the right side for the compute, storage and bandwidth will be shown. It shows 11,000 something. Then comes the production large size. For this, it shows higher. Then for development, it is lesser. So we'll select it as development since it's for demo purpose. Then the compute and storage. Compute and storage by default is showing as burstable V1 MS. We'll click on configure server. We have the compute tier. Note that the high availability is supported only for general purpose and memory optimized tiers. So, and since this is for demo, we'll let it be burstable. And when we are working for the real time projects, we'll select according to the requirement. Okay. Then the compute size will let it be the least. Storage size, the least. That is 32 gips. Storage auto go feature. It is to prevent a server from running out of storage and becoming read only. We'll let it be default that is will not select it backups seven days other options will let it be default we we'll click on save and then comes the high availability option will not select it because it's for demo purpose then authentication postgresql authentication only ad or sql as well as ad will let it be postgresql authentication only we'll click on this and write it as we'll give the username postgre SQL, then the password, okay, so the basic tab setting is done, we'll go to the networking, in the networking tab, we have the connectivity method, we'll let it be public access, because it's for demo, firewall rules, allow public access from any Azure service within Azure to the server, we'll add our current IP2, and then go to the next tab that is the security tab we'll let it be smk service manage key if you have any tags you can add it then click on review and create and here we can review and click on create 
is validating. Here at the top right side, we could see initializing deployment, notification is coming up, then submitting deployment. Next is deployment in progress. So our flexible server, Postgre flexible server is getting deployed. It will take few minutes for deployment. So we'll come back after it is deployed. So the deployment is complete. We'll click on go to resource. It will open up CK Postgre SQL Server for us. This is the server which we have created and we are in the overview page. We could see here the server related details, the name of the server, CK Postgre server dot postgre dot database dot azure dot com, the admin login name which we have given while creation. Then the configuration, version, availability zone, high availability, and other details. And at the top, you could see different options to connect, delete, reset password, restore, restart, stop. This stop button says that the server is at start state. So our Postgres SQL server is created. We'll go back to the documentation. Here, we'll go down. Then we have the connection information of the server name, admin login name. And next, next is to connect to this database using PSQL. Okay, so if we go back and under the settings, we have this databases section. We'll click over databases section. We'll have the database created here with the name as Postgres. And other two are maintenance and system. These are all system type and this is the user database and we'll have a button here to connect. So we'll click on connect. It will open up the command line interface. When we click on connect, it will show up this option. When we click on connect, it will try to connect to the Postgres database, PSQL, then the host name, that is the server name, port, default is 5432 to connect to this server, DB name is Postgres, username which we have given while creation of this Postgres server, SSL mode, and then the password. The password will be the password which we have given while creation. So we'll give the password and click enter. And we could see that this is connected to the Postgres. Okay, this Postgres command line will come. Let's go back to the documentation. Similar command you can give manually by configuring the server name, port and user database details. Okay, this is done. Then we can create a blank database called as MySQL DB at the prompt by typing this command. So we'll copy it, we'll paste here to create a database. Enter. Now the database is created. Next is at the prompt, execute the following command to switch connections to the newly created database. If we copy and paste this command, if we execute this command, we'll enter inside the my PG SQL DB. Click enter. And we could see here that now we are connected to the database my PG SQL DB. So now we are inside the database. We could create tables and insert data into it. So in this video, we learned how we can create Azure database for Postgres SQL flexible server through Azure portal and how we can connect to the database Postgres. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Happy learning. Bye.